All right. Let's get this over with. Hunter, why do I do this to myself? Why, why, why do I do this to myself? Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, we are over 5,800 kills into this grind. Uh, actually, about to tick over to 5,900 kills. So I figured, why not just make a video pushing ourselves over 6,000 kills for the bear grind and uh, kind of documenting all the stuff that happens in between. We have heard managed our map, so we're pretty deep into it at this point we're getting diamonds every 20 to 30 kills on average with obviously some exceptions and it has definitely made this grind a little bit more tolerable as many of you know the black bear grind is one of the most difficult and toughest grinds in the entire game and it takes a lot of effort to even get the bears to cooperate in a way that warrants a efficient grind and I guess that may actually not be the right terminology now that I just thought of it, but you know what I mean. It's a difficult grind and, and it takes a long time to actually make it a little bit easier. Even with herd management, it took us thousands upon thousands of kills since they redistributed the black bear a while ago. And uh, it it's been tough. It's been really tough to get everything going and to get it to this point where we can only hunt two lakes. We've got it to a point where now we don't have to go to any of our map besides these two lakes because we've managed down the rest of them or we've filled the surrounding lakes to where they've got just females and low levels. And so the respawns from these two lakes only go to these two lakes. Now, this lake was always that way. It always got its respawns very, very efficiently and reliably. But this lake recently with us doing herd management became like that as well so now whenever i delete the zones here they go here and vice versa and it's made this grind a lot more tolerable that combined with the herd management giving us more diamonds it's actually made this quite the enjoyable grind and it's made it so being a 6,000 kill grind isn't as as terrible as it would have been if we were hunting them like we used to just running around the map shooting everything at every zone because that was just not efficient at all. And a lot of these bears don't even get to their zone until the last 30 minutes of their drink time, which is pretty bad. That is, that is not okay. No animal should take that long to get to their drink zone. But despite how terrible and unbearable these bears really have been, we did somehow manage to get two lakes to be decently efficient and reliable and eventually turn them into insanely reliable lakes. I mean, it only took literally thousands of kills, but we got there eventually, so and now it's a bit more of a smooth grind and we can get quite a few bears down each hour, which is really good. And it's to the point where once we got our great one bear, I might even go for a second one at some point because we've actually got the grind to a pretty tolerable state. Unfortunately, I forgot to press record, but uh, we did just surpass 5,900 bears, which means we're only 100 away from hitting that 6,000 mark. And I think what we're going to do now is just show whatever good trophies we managed to get within the next 100 kills of our herd management bear grind. And, uh, well, that guy is definitely not one of them, but still a bear that we need to take down. What is going on? There's an aggressive bear. Are you kidding me? Where did that come from? I was just chilling, ready to go up to the, uh, stand to get our, uh, 5,963rd bear. And I just get charged by a random level 7 out of nowhere. That is absolutely insane. Hey, you. Yeah, you watching this video right now. I see you still watching. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content this much to where you're watching this far into it, consider subscribing. Now let's get back to it. And with these two bears right here, this will be 6,000 kills. And I am blown away at the fact we didn't get a single diamond or rare. 
throughout this time, our herd management has been working pretty insanely good. Up until, of course, the time where I need to make a video. We're on some kind of dead streak where there's just not a lot happening. And we have not got a single level 9 to spawn. So that is very unfortunate. And I think because of that, we're going to go a little bit past 6,000. We're not going to stop this video at 6,000 kills. We're going to keep going and see if we can just make something happen. There's that little mythical. 2255 is actually huge for a mythical. So maybe we're getting close to a diamond showing up. Because this is definitely the closest one that we've got to being diamond. 2255 is a really nice mythical. So I guess that is a positive step in the right direction. And this bear right here is bear number 6,000. With no diamonds showing up during the video so far. This one being 6,001. We're going to have to keep going. And uh, I will let you guys know when our first diamond ends up uh, showing up, what kill count we're at, and uh, how long it takes to get the next one after that as well. We have shot so many bears that I need to buy more 338 ammo. We're down to just 53, and I mean, just a few days ago, I bought like a thousand, and I've gone through that much going for these bears, so... Gives you guys an idea of how much I've been grinding these things. Uh, every time that we do a stream, we kill easily 100 to 150 bears, sometimes more. And I mean, I sometimes take two to three shots per bear just to make sure I don't have to track them. So the ammo goes by really, really quickly. Well, this is a rare sight. We have all five of our bear respawns on the same shoreline. I have not had this happen. In a very long time. I think this is only the second time where I've got all five of the respawns between the two lakes to show up on the same shore. That is going to make this probably like one of the easiest cleanups of five bears ever. Let's hope that they actually uh, cooperate and don't dart off immediately because that does sometimes happen. And that is how you clean up five bears in one mag. That is insane. You know, I hate the stand-up glitch for when I'm actually trying to take shots on diamonds and eventually our great one, but I'll be darned if I wouldn't say that it's uh, actually pretty helpful whenever you're trying to kill a lot of bears in one area. That stand-up glitch where they kind of just sit there and move back and forth a little bit before they like quickly jolt up in the air, it actually is very helpful in situations like this right here. Oh no, we got an aggressive bear. Again, how does this keep happening? Oh gosh, oh gosh. And just like that, we got him down. That was interesting to say the least. Okay, so with how these bears have actually been behaving quite well, we've actually been able to get about 40 bears in the last 30 minutes, which is an all-time high for me. I, I've never killed that many bears that quickly. Let's see what the uh, latest harvest is looking like. I mean, you can see this is insanity. 1109 to 1128, we have 20 bears. That is just ridiculous. And I mean, a lot of it is the fact that we've been getting lucky with the spawns, like the five on this side. And then uh, we've been getting a lot of the respawns from that group of five back here, or usually three, even four, but which means there's only a couple over here. And it has really been just going super well because of that. Uh, we're going to have to go over here, though, and see what's there, because there's definitely at least one. Because we were missing, I believe, one, maybe two at the most from this other zone. So that's going to slow us down a little bit, but this is kind of an absurd amount of bears that we've been able to take down in such a short amount of time. Definitely an all-time high for me. There we go. We finally got our first legendary of the recording at 6,020 kills. That is a guaranteed diamond as well, so that just makes this even better. Let's see if we can get up in the stand. Let's go ahead and take this beast down and see if it's going to be a max scoring one. It definitely has a decent chance, but the question is, will it be max score? We are about to find that out. So there is our bear right here. Let's go ahead and pick it up and see, will this be a max score? Not even close, but 23.20 is still a diamond, so we will take that. So far, one diamond out of over 100 kills so we're definitely not on the track that i normally would be with these bears which is a bit unfortunate but we finally got one that's all that matters now let's go ahead and see 
how long it's going to take to get another trophy bear. There we go. Another level nine. This one at 6,042 kills. Not bad at all. And oh my gosh, we got all four of the bears here. There's only one bear missing. We usually have a total of five respawns. So we are missing one bear. I'm assuming it's going to be at the other zone though. And that is going to be three three bears down. Unfortunately, we didn't get one of them, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's just go through and see if this guy will end up making it. I think it's got a chance of making it. But there's only one way to find out. Let's see. It's a diamond at 2283. It just barely made it. That is our second diamond of the day shortly after that other diamond. And we've also hit an all-time record for kill count. It's been exactly one hour since I started keeping track. And we have killed a total of 68 bears in the last hour. That is actually insane. That is an all-time record for me by a long shot. So I think we could get to a pretty insane point with this grind where we may be getting a few hundred bears per day. And that would really help accelerate this grind. Well, I think at this point it is time we go ahead and end this video. No great one has showed up, but we did kill easily over 120 bears. If I'm not mistaken, I'll, I'll know for sure when I go back and edit this. But we killed a lot of bears and uh, got two diamonds in the process of doing so. And somehow we hit the bear that was in front right in the nose. Well, that, that's unfortunate, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I guess he's just going to have a rough day. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this type of content or you just enjoy the content on the channel in general and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel as it is a pretty massive help. And I mean, at this point, we're almost at 111,000 subscribers and we're trying to push for 115K. So every sub counts and every sub helps. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.